Okay, so a lot's happened so, so far. I'm on my fourth power cycle right now. Let me wipe the lens off. There we go. Fourth power cycle. I have unplugged, replugged everything in. I'm guessing maybe something got on a USB cable. So as soon as it boots, it'd be kind of nice. Love the look of the machine. It's gorgeous. But we'll see if it works. I'm guessing not. I just want to show everything from power up all the way through. The only thing I've done today is fix their BT-30 wiper that fell apart when I got it. I cleaned inside of the BT-30 collet. Other than that, haven't done much. Um, been planning on how I'm going to uh, start machining my parts because I thought I had everything fixed. So reset and Mr. Reset button here. Okay, should be good. Let's reference the Z, the Y, and the X axis. Okay, we're at full stop. So here's the test. Automatic tool changer, and I'm gonna hit the ref tool tray. Yeah, that worked pretty good. I had a sensor problem. Swapped out the sensor. Old sensor is sitting right, right here in this bag. There's the old sensor. But that's not the problem. That sensor would not reference zero. It would not reference the tool tray to find where the tool tray is supposed to be. I haven't even run coolant through this thing yet. I'm getting ready to. I thought I was getting ready to. Uh, my chip tray has got a little bit of flakes inside of it, but I'm sure that part works. There's my coolant. I mean, I really don't know what else I can do. I'm just gonna hit the emergency stop because I can't listen to that. It may be doing more damage. I have my, my tool tray loaded up. I have no clue what it is. And I'm on so many tech calls at this point Maybe they just bleed you out with tech calls. Hopefully I can get this thing going. I, I really thought I was buying the right CNC. But appears I've got issues. Maybe this is an electronic problem. I, I really don't know. I've got probe. Uh, I've got their electronic tool setter, the ETS. I've got like pretty much all... Uh, I got the whole deluxe package, figuring I was making the best choice. And I don't know what to do at this point. Clear messages. Go back to main. I had it air machining. I had everything ready to go. And I can't even reference the tool tray once again. It's The original problem is it was not grabbing a tool properly. So I think it's unrelated. Uh, but now to have a major ATC changer problem. What am I missing? Somebody tell me. Tell me I'm stupid. I, I would actually love to hear that I'm stupid. It's my fault. Ref tool tray. I can't even reference the tool tray now. Button only permitted. Okay, hold on. Reset. Uh, reset. Reset. ATC. Ref tool tray. 
Oh, I pulled, I pushed the emergency stop. Sorry. Ref tool try. No. Once again, reset, reset. Ref tool try. I'm just going to hit the emergency stop again. I'm not going to beat the machine apart because I really don't know at this point if they're going to replace it or if it'll ever be fixed. There is one really good tech guy there. He left. Uh, I don't know who to even contact now. So I guess I'll try John again, but I can't even get two end mills that ended up getting destroyed out of Tormach. Do other people have these problems or is it just me? Because I see nothing but like really good reviews on Tormach. That's why I bought the whole damn machine. Somebody give me some positive hope here that it's going to get resolved because I'm... If you could hear the tool tray actually reference, it still has scraping noises. They don't build this right. Look at those welds. Like literally, I built this 69 Z28 Camaro, all original. I had to weld so much stuff on this car, it had to be accurate. That was just a car restoration. This thing, you'd think that I could figure out what's going on, or at least they build the ATC, right? Can you see that sheen? I mean, it's like the worst weld ever. I think it's done with a, a MIG, and then they grind the crap out of it. Leave pock marks. You see those pock marks? Focus. Oh well, there's a whole bunch of pock marks all the way across the machine. Top, that's just dust. I don't even know what to do. I'm like literally ready to start my parts. I just have to make a quarter inch groove through here, load my aluminum, and I'm good to go. But I can't even do that, and it's been two months now. Uh, ATC problem after ATC problem. Uh, snapping off end mills. <clears throat> Again, uh, their end mills. I mean, I bought their entire luxury... Uh, uh, first class flight package here with the probes and the ETS and every time I call it's like I'm an inconvenience and it's one delay after the next after the next I mean I I, I don't know what else to do I can't even rough the tool tray to start machining Let's see. Let's hear the let's hear the jitter again before I end this video. Oh nope, I can't do that. Hold on. Uh, out of E stop reset. Ref tool. Oh, there we go. Oh, listen to that it moved. I cannot be the only person with this problem. Besides the original call-up problem, that's all documented. <sighs> Hopefully that tool's not busted too. I mean, seriously. A brand new machine owner should not have to go through this crap at all. If I'm the only one Okay, I'll just delete the videos and move on. But this... Whoever's running Tormach needs to get some serious support people there. Or they need to QC their packages when they come on the ship. They all end up with paint damage. All of them. And then they give you a little bit of a credit allowance. And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> pretty much down the road, I guess. And you get a year support, but for that year support, uh, it takes you a year to get all the problems resolved. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I've made a mistake, maybe. I don't know.
I hope nobody else runs into this. I gotta chop the video.